Hello. If you can hear me in, please, can you let me know in the comment section with a thumbs up? If you can hear me, can you let me know in the comment section with a thumbs up? Hello. Oh, fantastic. Whew, what a relief. I have been scrambling behind the scenes, um, testing everything. I don't understand the reason why it went off before, but we're going to begin again and say, not today, Satan. You're not going to destroy our day. <laughs> it's been a good day and it's going to remain a good day. Um, hello, everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're good. You're great. Um, it's all going off at the moment. Uh, not just what's going off behind the scenes where I'm at, but also the, our favorite couple in Montecito have shared a lot of good news with us today. And we're going to be talking about that. But because I wasn't on yesterday, we're going to actually begin from the allegations against Harry and Meghan's, I think one of their favorite photographers, Misson. And from Misson to the Rosebush allegations, to the new Instagram account, to all the goodness that we can discuss, okay? Because there's so much of it, I have actually split today's discussion into two or three acts, just because I thought it might be interesting to do it that way. It's nothing major, just <laughs> it might seem a bit dramatic. So join me as we begin the discussion. So act one. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> so as we all know, I've, you've probably heard this by now, but this is where the argument over um, the Misan. <laughs> Hi, the honor. Sorry for the disruption. I don't know what happened, but thank you for coming back and joining me again. Hi, Louise. How are you doing? Well, this is where the argument about whether the photograph, the pregnancy announcement photographs taken by Misson actually began. Because this person, Lucy Piper, or whatever her name is called, she X, is that what it's called now? Or who <laughs> sent a post on X? And she said, and for those sugars suggesting that Miss Ann Harriman was honest from the outset about the fake pregnancy announcement photo, no, he wasn't. He only came clean when directly asked later on. These are all screenshots of articles from 15th, 16th February, 2021. And Miss was like, you're kidding, right? It's a real tree. Nothing has been changed beyond the black and white grade. It's extraordinary that the mail would publish such an article. I suggest you listen. I think you were saying, I suggest you listen to the podcast. I was asked a leading question by the host. I ignored it and spoke about, and um, he, he did actually go on to discuss the conversation he was having with the host of the podcast where he did not specifically come out to debunk what the person was saying, but rather he inserted his own words into the conversation. And I think that this is the thing uh, with anyone who is um, not an overly aggressive person who happens to be around Harry and Meghan, right? To deal with the press in any way, shape, or form, you need to stand starkly. You can't be diplomatic. You can't say whatever you have to say about Harry and Meghan softly. You need to come out strongly and not leave anything into the imagination because anything you say will be twisted out of context if there is any little room available for that to happen and that's exactly what they did to Mason. I have the video um, and I will share it on my Instagram account so that you can go there to watch it 
because as you can, must have seen, uh, have you guys heard the news about Sharion Shade? Sharion Shade's account was demonetized and she's so fed up with it all that she's decided that she's not going to continue with her account on YouTube. So um, one of the major reasons why they tend to demonetize um, the Sussex Squad accounts is because of the video clips that we share to illustrate our points. Like I'm talking about Mason Harriman and the conversation where he was trying to defend himself and explain the, the reason why someone might have thought that he agreed that he had altered the photograph he took of Harry and Meghan's pregnancy announcement. It would have been less dry, should I say. It would have been more interesting if I was able to play the video for you. But unfortunately, they jump on that as an excuse to demonetize the Sussex Friendly channels. So, in a bit to stay away from it, that is why I don't play any video clips at all on my channel. But what you, what I can do is to gather the videos that I refer to on my channel uh, on the day that I'm talking about them and post them on my Instagram page. So what I suggest you do, perhaps after the live stream or i can put actually i can put the instagram account in the live stream so that you can go follow the page and then you can watch the videos that i'm referring to either as i am discussing it with you during the live stream or afterwards whichever takes your preference uh, someone says if you play the sound but not the actual video is that still a problem? I don't even know, to be honest. I don't even know. But what I think it's less of a problem than if you play the actual video. But just to avoid any problems at all, let's just avoid that <laughs> entirely. I will give you access to the uh, Instagram account where you can go there and watch the video video after the live stream i haven't posted them up there right now but i will be doing that immediately after the live stream finishes i think that's the easiest thing to do just because um the videos themselves are can be receipts and then um they add context to what you're talking about um <laughs> Marcia says, I watched your YouTube show several times. <laughs> well, once I started going, it was only supposed to be two or three pages. But once I started going, my imagination just took me many places. And this is one of the reasons I think you were, you were the one who suggested that I start doing the YouTube shorts. So I thought I would give it a try yesterday. And once I started going, I almost couldn't stop until I got to the end of the story. But I know that shorts are not supposed to be that long, even though it was just one minute long. Um, let me put the link to my Instagram account on here so that you can go follow it. And then I will pin it. There you go. That's the link to my um, Instagram account. I will go now to pin it up. Right, so... I have pinned it to the top of the chat. So you can click on the Instagram account. And as I am going through the live stream, I will 
uh, as I'm going through the live stream, I will try to be uploading the videos as we are going through the topics we are discussing, okay? All right. Uh, if there are short videos, like very, very short, I think it's maximum of 20 seconds allowed, then you're allowed to play them and then you won't have problems with YouTube. But once you use any videos, I think over 20 seconds, then it becomes a problem. So I heard, I'm not completely sure, but until I become sure I'm very clear of what the actual parameters are, I will not be playing any video clips on this channel. Anyway, so let's continue. As you know, whenever Harry and Meghan have anything to do with anyone, they start digging into the background of everyone. So because of these allegations against Misan, they started to dig into his background. Look at this. This the, um, not only dug into his background, but this excerpt on the screen right here is from the book written by Tom Bauer and I'm not going to read the whole thing but I'll just read like two or three sentences it says Miss Anne Harriman a Nigerian born photographer educated at Bradfield a minor English public school and known for his support of the Black Lives Matter movement was hired for the shoot the result was spectacular Okay, so moving down to the next paragraph, it says, with the tree of life behind them, he wrote, and the garden representing fertility, life, and moving forward, they didn't need any direction because they are and I'll always have been waltzing through life together as absolute soulmates. The willow tree, it later transpired, was superimposed on the photograph by Harriman in London. So Tom Bauer was the one who started the rumor and without any investigation whatsoever, the Daily Mail picked it up and reported on it. The Daily Mail should be ashamed of themselves. That's if they manage to have any shame at all. They should be completely ashamed of themselves because they reported, on, although it's a tabloid paper and I accept that they're a tabloid paper and therefore have no shame whatsoever. But you would think that they would want to try to get some of their facts right. But then again, just me even saying that, that presupposes that they do attempt to report the news, but they don't report the news, do they? They try to create the news. So anyway, Luckily, Misan tackled the issue straight away. <laughs> it was reported by the Daily Mail, Telegraph, and um, one other paper. Yeah, the Telegraph, the Daily Mail, uh, and Victoria Ward. And... Luckily, Misan came on to, he went straight away to debunk the fake allegations. And the son, and the son, Victoria Ward of the son, okay? So the Sussex Squad Detective Agency picked it up straight away. And even before Misan had an opportunity to come back online, <laughs> <laughs> to debunk the, the fake story, the Sussex Court had already <laughs> produced evidence that the story was fake because Megan had already posted a video from another time relating to the global citizen appearance and she was sitting in front of this same tree that was in question. So that's the, the, the question of whether a tree had been superimposed onto Misan's photograph or not was already answered. And then Misan came in and said, how about this? So factually, he came on and he said, the original JPEG without the black and white grade 
I expect a full apology and retraction from Mail Online, Telegraph, and Victoria Ward. No trees or meadows were moved or swapped. This is the image straight out of the camera. Not only did he provide the original photograph, but he provided the meta tag for the photograph. <laughs> that is evidence upon evidence upon evidence. <laughs> Yeah, everyone was saying, sue them, sue them, sue them, sue them. So he asked for a retraction, right? What did the mail online do? Well, they couldn't retract the story humbly because that's not in their nature to do. So what did they do? They said, Harry and Meghan's photographer denies couple pregnancy snap was doctored to change the background and says only the color was altered amid Kate's Photoshop row. Look at that. They can't even take responsibility. But of course, we're talking about the mail online. What would it be if the story was not sensationalized in some way? But the reporting on it though, the reporting on it, for everything that has to do with Harry and Meghan, the reporting on it is ridiculous. Within the space of 30 minutes, this number of articles had been produced. Everyone wanted in on it. The Telegraph, the Business Insider, Today, Hello, Yahoo, Town and Country. What does Town and Country have to do with Meghan's photographer? Everyone has recognized that as long as Harry and Meghan's name is in an article, people will read it, so they use them for clickbait. Right, so as I'm speaking to you, I am uploading the videos to my Instagram account. So if you want to watch the video of Misan discussing the photograph he took for Harry and Meghan's pregnancy announcement and how it was not altered in any way, you can go to my Instagram account to watch it. The link to my Instagram account is at the top of the chat. Click it and go ahead and watch the video there. As I am discussing uh, just because I didn't think of that before I actually started the live stream. The idea only came to me when I started doing the live stream. As I come upon things, videos that um, may be interesting for you guys to watch, I will be uploading them onto my Instagram account rather than playing them on here. Okay? All right. So while well, they're trying to make so many excuses leave kate alone she didn't they're trying to mean they were trying to minimize the issue and i said it's like you guys don't really understand what has happened here we're talking about the royal family faking a photograph like criminals okay We're talking about the royal family faking a photograph and you're trying to minimize it as though oh, you just did some Photoshop to make the edit of the photograph better. There was no original photograph in the first place. So how could it be an edited photograph? Anyway, while they were trying to minimize it, Peter Souza, Ob Obama's White House photographer, entered the chat. He's, he wrote a whole dissertation, but I'm not going to be reading the whole thing to you. What I'm just going to do is, yeah, so I pulled out this <laughs> exchange that he had with someone on Twitter, and he said, uh, referring to this photograph that he took of um, William and President Obama, and he said, the photographs in question undoubtedly were processed through Photoshop, but not at all altered. He did get away with posting a picture of himself on Facebook during his presidency that made his fingers longer, 
hands bigger and body 50 pounds lighter. So for the sake of consistency, let's call fake photos what they are, fake or altered, and stop using the word photoshopped, right? And somebody responded saying, oh, please drop it. This entire thing is idiotic. And he said, disagree. Fake photos are fake. It's idiotic if we don't call them out. It's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to admit your mistake and then aim to do better. This is, these are not private individuals. These are public officials governing the entire country. You've been caught in a lie. You and your followers show some character by owning your mistakes and walking accordingly. But even though Kate, I have to give her, or should I say William hiding behind Kate, owned the palace, let's say the palace, right? They owned their mistake, but their fans are making them look bad because they're trying to minimize it like, oh, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Yalibi says, who, are not, who says they are not criminals? History says otherwise. <laughs> History says otherwise. Well, exactly. But, you know, we definitely not we deserve better um, as well. And guess what? Instagram actually put a note on the photograph which had been posted on Instagram. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> it was so embarrassing for the derangers on Twitter that a lot of them started dropping out of Twitter saying that they were taking mental health days because the, the situation was so embarrassing for them. Like they were trying so hard to drag Harry and Meghan into the situation. Now, Harry and Meghan said, the hell not. <laughs> nope. This was another attempt to drag Harry and Meghan into the situation because they were trying to say that Harry and Meghan's photograph from their Christmas picture the other year um, also had a their picture killed. But it turns out, because some, you, you know, these people can't mind their business. They just have too much time on their hands, right? So someone wrote to PA Media asking why this photograph had been killed and removed from public circulation. And they posted the reply on Twitter. They said, hi, Shane, thanks for getting in touch. And I think you've been speaking to my colleague Wes with an image query. We looked into this for you and PA did publish the picture of the Christmas card, but it was withdrawn when the representatives of the Duke and Duchess said we did not have the right to use it. Hope that helps. See? So again, they got egg on their faces because they were hoping that the reason why the picture was killed was because it had been discovered that the photograph had been altered only for them to find out that the people who posted the photograph in the first didn't have the rights to post the photograph in the first place which is why the picture was pulled from public circulation on their end so i haven't looked for every reason to drag Harry and Meghan into the situation and they couldn't, they started weeping in the public domain. Kate Middleton scandal gives Prince Harry ammunition against untruthful royal family. Stop talking about kids! <laughs> it was super ridiculous. Super ridiculous. And I think they must have sent the message to our dear Skeletoria because that was when she came over and she was talking about all the rubbish uh, in the celebrity Big Brother house about uh, Megan and oh, and trying to slag Megan off. 
as though the situation with Kate altering a photograph had anything to do with Harry and Meghan. It had absolutely nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. It had nothing at all. And when that, even that didn't work, they got Kelvin McKenzie. So Kelvin McKenzie, Kelvin McKenzie used to be the de deputy editor of The Sun during Piers Morgan's time. I don't know what he is right now, but he's really very proud of that time in age when he and Piers Morgan used to work with The Sun, News of the World, when they were dealing with all the phone hacking and all whatnot. So he goes and posts on his page, Megan is such a nauseating piece of work. Her people have let it be known to the New York Post that she would never make Princess of Wales photo editing mistake because of her freakish attention to detail. Even though Kate has been so unwell, she hasn't been seen for uh, the rest of the post says days, right? This was an utter and complete lie. And Harry and Meghan had to debunk this as well. And they went straight to the sun. Remember I told you he used to work for the sun, so it must be he must still have some connection with the sun. And he said a spokesman for the Sussexes denied making any comment about Kate's picture. Last night an on an official spokesman for the couple denied making any comment about Kate's picture. Oh my God. They tried so hard to drag them into this story. And then when that didn't work, guess what? They were back to stop, leave Kate alone, leave Kate alone. <laughs> And since they couldn't direct their anger, and since they couldn't direct their anger at Harry and Meghan, the, we, they had to direct their anger somewhere. So they said, no one is bullying Kate. She bravely took the rap for Photogate. But we, know, we all know who is really to blame. Who? Who? So it seems to me this, then made me think that there was this was Kate trying to push back very subtly but of Prince William was having none of it he says Prince William thinks Princess Kate is emotionally unstable as she considers drastic move Prince William is beside himself as Princess Kate considers stepping away from royal duties like what? Anyway, so unfortunately for William, he just seems to re re be repeating the mistakes of his father because a lot of people still remember how it, the story of Princess Diana went. And it just seems like that is the Windsor M.O., get a wife who will breed your children for you, then kick her to the side so that your side chick can take over later in life. And we all remember that William also called his mom unstable. Again, there was this headline, Kate Middleton has been thrown under the bus by disrespectful or disgraceful Kensington officials and ungentlemanly Prince William, who let her take blame for Mother's Day photo blunder, Richard Eden tells Palace Confidential. <laughs> oh... Doesn't that sound like that is Kate's camp pushing back against the story? That sounds to me like that is Kate's camp pushing back against the story. 
because everyone was, you know, kind of looking at Kate and saying, how dumb can you be? And even if you are dumb, you find it very hard to be called dumb <laughs> to your face. <laughs> So, Prince William is saying he's beside himself because Kate Middleton has decided to step away from royal duties and she is said to be considering leaving her royal duties after years of scrutiny and scandal. And the article goes on, it says, Princess Kate Middleton is reportedly considering stepping away from her royal duties, according to a bombshell new report. Kate's rumored decision has reportedly rocked her marriage to king in waiting Prince William and the, and the monarchy, the report has claimed. So my question was, why should Kate wanting to step back from royal duties if she's having mental health challenges rock her marriage to William? Why would that affect her marriage to William? Surely there must have been if this report was true. Because you know it's it's become evidence that the palace they think that they're talking to idiots, right? So if this report is true and she felt like she was taking on too much or she has taken on too much and she can't cope, surely they could have been able to scale some of the duties down and assign some of the duties to somebody else to take on until they get to a manageable number of patronages that Kate can handle. What did Kate, while we're talking about it, what did Kate think was going to happen because when Harry and Meghan stepped back from working as senior members of the royal family, they happily took on all those new charities and patronages and split them amongst themselves to the point that Kate is now colonel in chief of the British army. <laughs> she has already embarrassed the British army <laughs> in this whole debacle. And she's also a patron of rugby, which is also um, Harry's thing. So what did they think was going to happen? When I saw her moving like a busy bee uh, at the time, shortly after those new patronages were awarded to herself and William, I kind of anticipated that something like this was going to happen. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't see it coming. This is someone who was known for not working that hard before the new patronages were given. What did they think was going to happen? Honestly, uh, it's quite embarrassing to know that the royal family are this incompetent at managing themselves and others. Anyway, so that is the end of Act 1. It was mostly all about the photo gates, Kate Gates and William. But all of this drama, it then brought up information, it brought up the scandal or some various scandals really that have been simmering beneath the surface. The British media have been dying to talk about this particular thing for the longest time. And since Things that are really happening in the UK tend to break from outside of the country before they break in the UK. It was a welcome development when Stephen Colbert <laughs> had a skit on his own program <laughs> to discuss Rosie, Rosie Posey. Before, before I go into what he discussed, let me go, uh, let me look at the comments. 
Uh, William made that decision for her. Joanne says, I don't believe that for a second. It's Will doing all of this here. Here, I absolutely agree. And hi, Joyce. And Yalibi says, KKK, it wanted the crown. And all the adulation, she got exactly what she wanted. No pity for her. She thought she was better than Megan and did not pay attention to Diana's fate. Not smart at all. And she has nothing to fall back on. This is the part that amazes me the most. She has absolutely nothing to fall back on. She made her life, or she has made her life to be entirely about the royal family. KKK waited 10 years to hook Sway Sway. <laughs> I don't believe she's given up this easily. Uh, it, if his character is as violent as it looks like it is, since he cannot even contain himself when he, they are in public, can you imagine what it would be like living with him in the same house? For such a person, 10 years is a long time to live with them, you know even if they're not living in the same house, to have to deal with such a person for 10 good years is a long, long, it's a century. Well, you, Gwendolyn says she better, she's already in hiding. Yeah, I agree with you. Her stand right now, it looks like it's giving hiding. But on the other hand, when I consider how devious they were uh, following the release of uh, the spare and the documentary and the interview with Kate copying Megan's fashion and her energy, especially, um, did you guys watch her? Or did you guys see her when she went to Wimbledon and she was openly flirting with Roger Federer to the point that his wife had to show her displeasure in public? Like she was openly disrespectful. There was something very off going on with Kate. Anyway, I think she drank. her uncle eight and William are caught in a PR move that has gone wrong. Yeah, they started off trying to disappear from public. I, I think they started off wanting to disappear from public the way Harry and Meghan do. and then reappear and be more appreciated the way, the way Harry and Meghan are appreciated when they come back. They wanted to be able to excite that kind of reaction from the public that Harry and Meghan get when they go to the Invictus Games or, where, or wherever they go. But it has intensely backfired. It has intensely backfired because they handled it all wrong. Anyway, so Colbert on his uh, show, he was discussing the royal family being all a flutter because I thought he was even going to just talk about the photograph, but he went even further than I thought he was going to do, you know, when he said uh, he discussed... Um, Rose Hanbury, and he even had fun with her name, calling her all sorts of things, Chamondli, Chaumu, Chewbacca. <laughs> He's, and the British media thought that Stephen Colbert should have notified the palace 
before he made any comment on them. Like, really? Really? And then they went on, look at this. They said the satirical weeknight show is filmed in New York and regularly tops the U.S. late night talk show ratings, regularly attracting more than 2 million viewers. It's not readily accessible in the U.K., but clips were posted online and the segment contained concerning the princess was shared widely on social media. It is thought unlikely to go down well with Kensington Palace, who has struggled to quash social media speculation in recent days and is not thought to have been given advance warning about the segment. A spokesman declined to comment. They really thought that an American show would contact the palace to find out whether they had the right, whether they could talk about or give their opinion on what was happening. That is to tell you the level of Delulu that the British royal family are in at the moment. They really do believe that they have the right to demand this level of subservience from countries all over the world. It's quite interesting to know, to imagine that a small island like England, because it's England that all of this is happening, right? They colonized Ireland, they colonized Wales, they colonized a major part of the rest of the world. I wonder what it is about them that just give them the gumption to think that they could do that. And this is probably the reason why they are finding it difficult to adjust to their position in the world at the moment. And it seems like every Englishman has this inherent impression that they are actually worth more than they are. They think they are five pounds, but actually they're just 25p. <laughs> Let me look at your comments. So, hi, Kathy. How are you doing? Uh, jumping in, catching up. Good news all around. Signed up on IG and everything. Kate will be lucky to come away in one piece from this mess. The audacity of KP in plain sight. And the, you know the reason why this is not going to go away? Because they, in the midst of them asking everyone to leave Kate alone, they keep attacking Harry and Meghan. Hal says, Kate is the daughter of two flight attendants, waiters in the sky, not the English road they try to advertise. She doesn't even know how to walk properly. <laughs> oh, dear. So, and that's where it started. It was like someone had just been waiting for someone else to talk about it. And before you knew it, the Independent flashed an article about Rose Hanbury. Harper's Bazaar says, who is Rose Hanbury? Everything you need to know about the machioness of Chamondley. Entertainment Tonight says, hello, this is not entertainment entertainment in the sense of songs or movies but this here is royal entertainment <laughs> everything we know about rose hanbury kate middleton's former friend and the woman rumored to have an alleged affair with prince william so yeah all over And then our our favorite Spanish magazine, Marca, said, oh, are we talking about it yet? Okay. Prince William's alleged mistress, Rose Henry, divorcing husband after possible discovery made about her daughter. And everybody went, what? There's a daughter? <laughs> There's a daughter? Really? Oh, really? Now, I don't know whether that is actually true, but the internet sleuths went crazy when this article came out and this photograph of the said daughter appeared. 
the internet dust of Prince William and Rose Hanbury um, affair rumors amid Kate Middleton conspiracy theories. And then the photo of Lady Iris, the alleged daughter of Prince William with Rose Hanbury. I can't see her face. I can't see her face to know whether this is true. But my goodness. Oh, wow. <clears throat> wow. Uh, Marcia says, Wheezy, Rose is pregnant. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That would explain. <laughs> Adrian says, I started laughing when people named her daughter Rose, like shaking my head. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That is so funny. Why would she do that, though? Her sister would never forgive her. And who is this? Uh, Louise says, I think Willie is trying to control this narrative, having the world wondering what is happening to Kate. I think William is worse than Charles. He would come to realize he's powerless. Cover. Exactly. As if you knew what I said in the next slide. Let's look at this. So this is, to me, is what I imagined <laughs> William's face is looking like right now. Like, are they still talking about it? <laughs> are they still talking about it? Okay, what are we going to do now? All right, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Let's put a wooden, let's put a wooden structure in front of a, a window and show that as Kate waving. <laughs> anyway, the tone, of course, with all of this, it's so blatant now. Especially the fact that the British press have been able, unable to report about everything going on objectively. Even the most respected outlets, like the Times, Times Magazine, Sunday Times, they have all been very psychophantic in their reporting. So I was actually shocked when I saw this article saying Kate Photoshop blunder proves Meghan Markle has always been treated differently. It's hard to argue with Camp Sussex on the discrepancy between the reactions to Kate's mishaps and Meghan's missteps. <laughs> so they couldn't run away from it because it's so glaringly obvious. I don't know what they thought that their end game was going to be, but and they still haven't learned their lesson, as I will show you in Act 3. Because even when everyone is fighting for William to say, okay, this has happened, let's clean it up. William cannot seem... William cannot seem to go out and do anything without causing more problems. He says, my wife's the arty one. Prince William raises eyebrow with joke about Kate's creative skills in the wake of Princess of Wales Mother's Day Photoshop gaff as he prepares for joint appearance with Harry tonight. Like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, like really, really? Everyone, like, I'm sure, like, all the journalists are like, you're killing me. You're ki Please, can you just do one thing? Just go for the event. <laughs> do you want us to write what you have to say down? 
you need to be fully scripted when he is released into the world. <laughs> oh my God. What? He is still in the Lulu land. He is still in the Lulu land. He really thinks that he's going to get away with everything this time around, the way he has gotten away with it in the past. And unfortunately, the family has done too much. They've done too much already to Princess Diana, and they were then have already done too much to Princess Meghan. And all of this is happening. <laughs> Marcia says, Daniel, he must have smelled bad. <laughs> and all of this is happening. Well, people who remember what happened to Diana and what happened to Megan are alive and well and kicking. Oh. So that was the end of Act 2. See, whatever um, ground that the British media were gaining, trying to fight back, to fight for um, Kate and William's reputation, he just came and threw an atomic bomb in, <laughs> into the mix. <laughs> he brought the conversation back. <laughs> he brought the conversation back. Hello, Lono Sando. How are you doing? Okay, to everybody uh, who is just joining us, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, please go ahead to subscribe. If you've joined us before and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead to subscribe. We are aiming for 3,000 subscribers before the end of March. We are well on our way to achieving that. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Please like and leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't know what to say, just leave a heart emoji as you can see um, with what's happening with the channels, the engagement helps, every, the subscribers level helps, and it's a tough road, and the subscription we get, and the comments are really, literally the only rewards that we get from doing all of this. It's a very tough road. It's 2 a.m. in South Africa. Oh, wow. That means that you are two hours ahead of the UK because it's midnight where we are in the UK. And it must be about 8 p.m. in America. Hi. Thank you for making it. Thank you for taking the time out to join us. Really appreciate it. So now we come to Act 3, and you're going to see why I call this Act 3. We had our favorite royal reporter who loves to hate Harry and Meghan, Chris Ship. He kept on saying, I'm not going to report about Harry and Meghan again. And then you, anything happens with Harry and Meghan, then he jumps into the fray. Meghan, so Meghan is back on Instagram. The Duchess of Sussex has not been active on the platform since Sussex Royal, and before that, her pre-Harry account called The Tig. The new one is American Riviera Orchard. Her, of, her office confirms to us it is genuine. Yeah, 8 p.m. in the U.S. Okay, okay. So, Chris Ship, who has said he's never going to talk about Harry and Meghan again, they are no longer royals, working royals, he has no reason to talk about them. Meghan joined Instagram today, and here he was back on the beat. <laughs> uh, 
And everyone was screaming, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex was back on Instagram. I was busy doing something else unrelated to computers, unrelated to this topic whatsoever. I dropped everything I was doing, took my phone and immediately, <laughs> and immediately joined Harry and went to follow Harry and Megan, sorry, went to follow Megan's page. Yeah, and at the moment it it is up to two hundred and fifty two thousand followers on Instagram. <laughs> yep, Chris Ship was all over it. He has even followed the account and everything. <laughs> So talking about the company, so the company, the Instagram account is linked to a website and the website uh, is linked at someone, of course, you know, the Sussex Squad Detective Agency. They found out that Megan has filed a trademark and the owner of the trademark is Mama Knows Best LLC. <laughs> and she is going to looking to be able to sell online non-downloadable ebooks in the field of cookbooks and recipe books downloadable cookbooks and recipe books tableware nice fork spoons table cutlery jellies jams marmalades that kind of thing printed books textile cloths textile placements homeware i think which is very homely and nesting. I think it just suits the stage in Megan's life where she is at the moment. So, and of course, the Daily Mail picked it up. Woo, Megan's luxury launch. Because she did a video, uh, on her page, she did a video and it is on her story. I've sent it to, as just as I am speaking to you, I am sharing it to my own story. So you can check for the page, American Riviera. Let me see. If you've got an Instagram and you want to join, this is the name of the page. If you haven't joined already, American Riviera Orchard. And if you tap the profile page, uh, picture where the logo is, that's where you will find the story which is the video, okay? Have you joined? How many have, how many people here have joined the page? Of course, of course. Harry and Meg Megan cannot do it, do anything without it being reported within seconds of the media knowing about it. So, of course, People Magazine wrote about it. They reported on it. Megan Markle launches surprise new project, American Riviera Orchard with website and Instagram. Love it. Of course, Richard Eden. What grass timing. Duchess of Sussex launches her long-awaited lifestyle brand. At the very moment, Prince Harry is due to honor his mother, Princess Diana, at an award ceremony in London. I contacted Meghan's office with the scoop yesterday afternoon. Two things he has said. Should we let's break it down? First of all, ignore the first phrase, okay? What crash timing? We'll come back to them. We'll come back to it. But he's talking about Meghan launching her brand when Harry is due to honor his mother. 
they are assuming that Harry and Meghan will follow the same model or same way of doing things that the royal family are did when they were with the royal family. Harry and Meghan are doing things their own way. That's for one thing. Uh, the 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 link to my Instagram page is on at the top of the chat. It's pinned there. Hi, girl. The link to my Instagram page is at the top of the chat, so you can find it up there. Okay. And he says, what crass timing. So Duchess of Sussex launches her long-awaited lifestyle brand at the very moment Prince Harry is due to honor his mother. Harry and Meghan are doing things their way. They are not in competition with each other. They firmly believe that they are each other's equal partner and that there is space enough in the sky for everyone to fly. So they don't need... Megan's launching her Instagram page does not distract from Harry doing what he needs to do. They're not that insecure around each other at all. And uh, what's this? Princess Di uh, and, then, and then he wants to let us know that he knew about this before it becoming public knowledge today he says i contacted megan's office with the scoop yesterday afternoon who cares richard eden who cares <laughs> you leave he says joined with both my instagram accounts i am excited to see what our megan will do and have i'm about to save money to become bougie <laughs> yep 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 absolutely Gail says, I'm very upset about Sharon. She's such a valuable squaddy YouTuber. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm very upset about her as well because sometimes when I need to know what's happening or just get a different perspective on what's happening on Sussex News, apart from going to apart from going to Royal Sussex, that's Baron's platform. My next go-to for Sussex News is Sharon Shades as well. Uh, so it's quite unfortunate. Okay, it's quite unfortunate that um, what happened to her. I think we really need to be very careful. From As I said before, in case you didn't hear it, when because you're just joining us, I will no longer be, I, I stopped that anyway, but I, going forward, if you want to see or hear any about any of the videos that I reference in my live streams, they will be on my Instagram page. So, <clears throat> while all of this is going on, Forbes magazine, drops this piece of news, which says the global news director of Agency France Presse, I don't know if that's how it is said, Agence France Presse, <laughs> one of the world's biggest news agencies told the BBC that Kensington Palace is no longer a trusted source. There's a video that goes with that. I'm going to try to play it now for you to hear um let me see play it for you to hear
So you see, <laughs> this is from one uh, of the biggest news uh, and photo agencies in the world. And they have basically declared that photos from Kensington Palace will no longer be trusted. If you want to see the uh, entire video, it's on my Instagram page. Please go there and have a watch. It is loading as we speak. So Jack Royston from Newsweek screamed on Twitter, Kate Middleton photo crisis just got bigger. AFP no longer views Kensington Palace as trusted source mega and hugely, hugely damaging in a way that could take years, if not decades, to repair. I think what is happening now is that the rot has just started breaking through and it's going to tear away completely and be regenerated. The old way and the old form is not going to be tolerated and that's what they're experiencing. And I just put this photograph here because it just seemed to me appropriate that this must how Misa must be looking at the British media like incredulous, like, what? <laughs> Are you people all right? <laughs> mm. I am going to, let me just go through your comments. <clears throat> Uh, people are asking what happened with Sharon. Yeah, her, her YouTube got demonetized and she said she would not be posting content on her YouTube channel any longer. It's really sad. <clears throat> Gail says... She was evidently demonetized on YouTube, so she has decided to leave it. Yeah, I will follow her wherever she goes. Yep. Wheezy William is blaming Kate's parents now for the divorce. Claims their finances. He is a billionaire. <laughs> Why should their finances be an issue for him? And it just makes, this is, I don't feel sorry for Kate, but at the same time, I just wonder how she's going to survive if there, if it is true that there is a divorce in the works. Because I don't think that there's anything in her name. I don't think the car, the cars, the houses, even the clothes. <laughs> At this point, of course, the jewelry, um, anything be that belongs to the royal family, of course, does not belong to her. And it has been said that behind the scenes that she does not wear um, rare jewels, like she doesn't wear gold or emeralds or those kind of things in her day-to-day -day life. They, they called it dressing high-low. So where you might see her wearing a pearl headdress, she would probably be wearing a costume, pearl costume jewelry. So all the cheap things would be hers, of course. They would let her probably let her go go with that. But all the really expensive jewelry will remain with the royal family. So what would she be taking away from the royal family? And how would she be able to live? Great question. Great question. I think, when I think about it, actually, the thought just occurred to me that the same way William was suckered into putting his energy and strength into making sure that his father ascended the throne. It's the same way he suckered Kate. William now suckered Kate into making sure that she works with him to achieve 
his station. Now he's achieved the status of Prince of Wales, which was always going to come to him. But of course, a lot of things could have happened along the way. Now she has been cast aside and she is trying, she's making a feeble attempt to fight back. <laughs> he says she can sell the missing jewelry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my days. Oh. Oh. And because they could not. So what did they do? Kate messed up. They tried to use Harry and they tried to say that Harry and Meghan also photoshopped. They did that didn't work. Sharon, Sharon Osborne tried to smear them and change the narrative in the public. It didn't work. Kevin McKenzie tried. It didn't work. And now they're back at their favorite target, Harry. He said, how the public turned against Harry. <laughs> how? The public turned against Harry. What has that got to do with the fact that Kate photoshopped a picture? What has that got to do with the fact that Kensington Palace released a fake photo to the international media and the international media no longer consider Kensington Palace to be trustworthy? At least Harry is trustworthy. Guess who's trustworthy now? Guess who's trustworthy now? <laughs> if you're just joining us and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead to subscribe to my channel. If you have been, if you are a frequent viewer and you haven't subscribed, choose this moment to subscribe. And if you are watching and you haven't liked this video, don't wait till the next second please go ahead to like the video now and leave your comments in the comment section it every little helps thank you <laughs> anyway what i love about the american media is that it's just seemed to me that they've been waiting for the British media to mess up in such a way that they could step in. They've been waiting to, they've been waiting for a good reason to step in. And with this mess up that has been happening, the American media has been like on their neck, like, mm -hmm, we're not going to let you hear the last of this. We are not going to let you hear the last of this. You are going to, we are going to rub it in. We are going to hold you accountable for your foolishness. Just look at this being reported in the media. And, uh, and it's, for, it's quite embarrassing, actually. Look at this as a headline. We will protect you, Catherine. Why is this happening to us? Get well, sweet princess. The British media has increasingly panicked Kate's coverage. Who is still missing, by the way? <laughs> Who is still missing, by the way? Like, it's not like all of this has happened. And she decided to wave from a window to let anyone know that she was alive and well. No, 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 no. She is still missing. Despite the hysteria. Anyway, my good friends, Harry and Meghan, have decided to declare that they want to be left out of Princess Kate's photo drama. <laughs> they want to be left out of Princess Kate's photo drama. Oh, I better round up soon because uh, Baron will soon be on. Okay. Um, 
So talking about today's event, oh, and before I move on to the next thing, they even had, I'll just play you this by uh, P.S. Morgan. Let me see if it's loud enough. Just listen to this. Oh, we got to turn it Here we go. Because this is it. <laughs> so, like, I'm hearing a lot of she needs her privacy. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of let it be. It could be a medical condition. We're all, we're all entitled to privacy when it comes to medical conditions, obviously. That's fine. I want that same energy when Meghan Markle's getting bullied online. I want that same energy when certain members of that world, and I'm not the biggest fan, but th what happened online was unbelievable to her and her family. And all I heard was, well, it's fair game. You join the Royals. This is what you sign up for. Really? Really? You are the Princess of Wales now. You are still in the family. Meghan Markle's still getting it. You're the Princess, of but everyone's supposed to back up? No, no, no. I want the same energy for this. Yeah, no, I want the same point. energy for the same issue. And in a world where Queen Elizabeth is forced to go out there in her final days, mm. do you remember that? Mm -hmm. When Liz Truss became prime minister for eight hours, she had to go meet, like, she was still doing stuff yes. as the queen of England, as the queen of, of, the, of the monarchy. Yeah. But we can't, no one in Buckingham Palace has the sense to have some type of assuredness because there are people legitimately worried about this oh, now. Because what, what else? So this is the international media are holding the British media to account. They are putting their feet to the fire in a way that I doubt that they have ever experienced before. And I love it for them. I just love it for them. I love it for them. They needed, this needed to happen for them to come back to reality because they're holding themselves out as though they are demigods they're not gods they're just human beings like us and they're just holding everyone to ransom for what yeah hey girl you said i was awake on spaces when it dropped I joined when it was the in the 300 followers, which was quickly kept rising. Let me check how many followers it's got now. It's 259,000 followers on the new Megan's page. 259,000 followers in about 24 hours. It's pretty good, don't you think? Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. You can find all the videos that I have referred to in this video on my Instagram page. Okay. All right. So I will almost be, I'm almost done with this. Just talking about. We, uh, William and Harry uh, are supposed to be participating in the annual Diana Award and the Daily Mail is reporting the joint appearance that lays bare the depth of William and Harry's feud. Brothers will address Princess Diana Memorial event in London tonight, but the Duke of Sussex video link will only start after the Prince of Wales has left the building. How childish is that? How childish? William, in, is, William is 40 something. How old is William now? He is, how old is William? Look, look, let me find it. I don't want to misquote. How old, old is, William is 41 years old and he can't even get up and do his job. He can't get up and do his job. He is 41 years old. He can't do his job. He can't even make an appearance for his mother. 41 years old. And his younger brother is willing to be there. And people might say it's because he wants to reconcile. He wants to reconcile, but not because he wants anything, just because 
it's he wants to close the circle of life like normally if you have a disagreement with someone yeah you might go through a rough time with someone but the natural evolution through that situation is to eventually reconcile or at least agree to disagree like we don't have to be besties we can just squash the beef why do we need to be beefing <laughs> Why do we need to be beefing? William, I completely agree with you. Needs intensive therapy. It is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. And he is being encouraged in this behavior. It's being reported in the news as if it is normal. Look at this one. William and Harry can't even be in the same room virtually. Harry is not even there physically. So that tells you, that goes to tell you that all the things Harry said that happened after the Queen died, that William did, preventing him from joining him on the plane, making sure that he didn't have dinner with the rest. Everything was orchestrated by William. It becomes clear to see. Not that I doubted Harry in any way, shape, or form. He is a man baby. William is a complete man baby. Absolutely. Let me look at your comments so mature harry is serious and dedicated and you wouldn't have thought so because harry is very laid back but he's very serious about the things he's interested in harry is very serious about the things he's interested in so quite interesting to see that the one person who was the family jokester the clown the what have you is the person who is super serious when he has a commitment to something and just because <laughs> i couldn't get over william saying this i put it in here again it's my wife who's the arty one says william while decorating bis biscuits at the youth center do you what do you think that the boy holding his nose was thinking or saying <laughs> do you think he was saying oh no he didn't or do you think he was saying not again <laughs> Anyway, with regard to the new Instagram page, I tell you, the Royal Rota are following already. Rebecca English is on there. Dan Wooten is on there. Mm -hmm. Dan Wooten is following. Megan's page and Samantha Markle's page on Instagram. The little boy is thinking, old man, he reeks of alcohol. <laughs> I don't know why British people think that it's such a thing of pride that they don't do anything to take care of their teeth they don't pay as much attention to their teeth as uh, american people do megan's teeth are lovely and prince harry's teeth are much better since he left the uk <laughs> marcia says willie smell <laughs> Will has waited on her, her parents are skin to drop the divorce so he can use that as a bargaining chip. I wonder if the I wonder if her parents 
had a royal warrant <clears throat> because they used to give uh, these, it's sort of like um, a royal seal of approval to various businesses. And these are the businesses that the upper class, the, the rich people and the royal set patronize as the bougie rich people that they are. Anyway, so um, our girl anyway is back on Instagram. As usual, she has them in a chokehold. She hasn't even posted anything yet. And all the royal rota are kicking the doors down, trying to get a front seat to whatever it is that Megan is doing. So congratulations to Megan. Um, if you haven't, I know I probably sound like a broken record, which can be quite annoying, but can I just remind you, if you're just joining us and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead to subscribe. If you have been to my channel before and you haven't subscribed before, please go ahead to subscribe. I don't post video clips on my channel, but you can find all the video clips that I reference in my live streams or my videos on my Instagram page. So the link to my Instagram page is pinned to the top of the chat. Please go ahead to uh, click on the link so that you can follow my Instagram page and locate the videos that I have referenced in this live stream, okay? They're all on there now. I have been doing that as we have been speaking. So um, thank you to everybody who has joined my Instagram page and liked some of the videos as well. And think let me just check yep and um, with that I am done and with that I am done 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 okay so um for those who thank you to those people who donated to my paypal uh will not be calling your names just to protect your identities thank you very much and if you're thinking about um donating to my channel please go ahead to visit the if you're thinking about donating to my channel please go ahead to visit the description box of this video you will find the link to my paypal and cash up on there and that's me for now um saturday my i will be on next on saturday i will be doing a quiz on episode two of archetypes so um if you would like to participate and enjoy it go ahead refresh your memory on what was going on with episode two of Archetypes so that we can all have fun together. In the meantime, thank you to everyone who contributed in the comment section, in the chat. You made this really interesting for me. Thank you, House of Sussex. Thank you, Gwendolyn. Thank you, Jessica. Stan Bree Mark Cargo. Thank you. Rosa Roberts, thank you for being here. Until next time, this is Wheezy signing out.